got a bunch of headlines making around the rounds this morning, including some royal news. Meghan Markle, the newly minted Duchess of Sussex, receiving a huge honor from the Queen, but also the royal family getting a little backlash from a risque photo shoot in Ms. Markle's past. We're going to get to that in a minute. But first, NBC's Keir Simmons with more on the Duchess's big day. Royal duty with the Queen. Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, on her first official engagement without husband Prince Harry, learning the ropes from the world's longest serving monarch in Chester in the north of England. Pausing to observe a minute's silence on the anniversary of last year's horrific tower fire in Britain. It's less than a month since the American actress and activist became a British royal. From a wedding dress train, to this morning's royal train. Meghan traveling in style overnight with a secret stop for a good night's sleep. One car has a dining room that seats 12, another a working office for the monarch. Kate too traveled by train for her first solo engagement outside London with the Queen, but that was a normal scheduled train. Last weekend, Meghan attended the Queen's official birthday celebration in London, showing off what many suspect to be a post-honeymoon glow and making her first Buckingham Palace balcony appearance. The Queen's great-grandchildren misbehaving, Meghan putting on another perfect performance. So far, Meghan hasn't put a foot wrong as far as her relations with the royals are concerned. She's hit the ground running. She's already started work as a working royal. And equally, she's been embraced by the family. Today, two royal generations on show. The Queen, who's been doing this job for 65 years, and Meghan in her new role for less than a month even without Harry, wowing the crowds. The American nailing it. Please welcome NBC's Craig Melvin and Jenna Bush Hager here to discuss that. Hello. Hello. Welcome. I just love to see her doing so well with it, right? Yes. It's like. I, she had the perfect, you know, she was sitting just perfectly, the legs with the, at the ankles crossed. She just tailor-made. Look tailor like a princess. It's not easy to do, I'm sure. You know, there's and a lot of rules. By the way, that's not the typical regional Amtrak, you know? No. <laughs> she was on a fancy train. Exactly. So, meanwhile, the royal family is getting some backlash, or at least someone's trying to put backlash on them, for Meghan Markle's past as an actress, and she did some modeling, and she did this sort of risque photo shoot back in the day. I think it was years ago. Um, and here's why it's become relevant, arguably, is the royal family sued this French publication for publishing pictures of Kate, Princess Kate, William's wife, uh, topless. Hmm. She was sunbathing topless. And it Some was, years it was ago, right? yeah, yeah, back in 2012. Yeah. And the, you know, the paparazzo sneaked up. He was a half a mile away. He used the telephoto lens and he got her on a private on their private property, topless sunbathing. And then this French magazine published those photos. So they sued the French magazine, saying outrageous, right? And they won the royal family. Sure. And, and now they've just been given a $122,000 award. But the French magazine is using Meghan's racy photo shoot that we just showed yeah. to say the family's being hypocritical. <laughs> In Seems like a stretch. Yeah. Accepting Meghan into the family despite that while objecting to... Well, first of all, I don't think those photos take. from Meghan Markle were really all that racy. Right. Not that I'm an expert in racy yes. photos. No. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, I mean, you know, not, you know, but... Not that there's anything wrong with that. Right. You might get, just, you'd be getting yourself in trouble yes. here. Yes. <laughs> but I didn't think they were that bad. Yes. That seems like a ridiculous argument. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it works. I mean, you're the lawyer. Does it work? It doesn't work. Yeah. Not at all. I mean, they're trying to reduce the damage award. And the fact that Meghan willingly and with her consent years ago posed for this photo shoot and then happened to wind up falling in love with Prince Harry yeah. does not in any way say anything about the royal family being subjected to non-consensual photos I'm on private property. Sure, while she was doing that, she didn't think, one day I may be in the royal family. Right. I better sure. <laughs> sure. hold it back here. Clearly not. <laughs> Although, may I tell you, I do think that Kate, because when I think when she got, got photographed with her top off, they were on private property, yes. royal, royal property. But still, if you want to be queen, just keep your top on. Yeah. It's simpler. It's like, you know they're always looking I don't looking think she you. ever did that again, by the way. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't been there, but I'm sure it... But it's you like would think pros and cons. You get the tiara, you have to wear a bathing suit top. 
I will say, as a mother of two, there's a time where that ends as well. Things don't look as good after right. having children. It doesn't look good whether they're yeah. tan or not tan. You know what I'm saying. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> good call. Um, all that being said, though, you would, you would think that the paparazzi in, in Great Britain would leave the royals alone yeah. to a certain extent. By Given now. their history. Yeah. yeah. And, like, at what point do they decide, you know, we've caused enough harm to this family, we'll, we'll give them a pass? They don't have that attitude no. with anyone, right? With anyone. And I feel like you experienced this when you were the first daughter. Mm -hmm. um, and recently, just this week, there was news that, um, you know, Anthony Bourdain killed himself. He, he, he yeah. died by suicide. And... Asia Argento was his girlfriend. And she, I guess in the days before he died, was photographed by a paparazzo with another man. Now, Rose McGowan has come out. She's speaking on behalf of her good friend, Asia, saying they had an open relationship. Yeah. Uh, and who knows what the truth yeah. is? The paparazzo who took that photograph of Asia with the other man has come out to say, I am sorry if that photograph had anything to do with his despair. I am sorry. I mean, I feel like... You can't blame him, no. you know? It's, it's not his fault. But spare me the apologetic attitude, well, given what they do for a living. Yeah, I mean, I think two things. I think for anybody, a paparazzi, humans in general, anything that makes people pause and think, okay, well, this action caused somebody pain yeah. is a good thing. Maybe people will learn a lesson. But I also think I've had friends and, and family friends who have struggled with mental illness. To diminish it to a singular photo yeah. diminishes mental illness, yeah. the pain that's caused by it. But I do think for anybody out there to think, okay, wait, will this action make somebody feel bad, especially now, yeah. and to stop and think? Because yeah. I think paparazzi's don't. No, that's their bread and butter. Paparazzos, how do you, what's that? I think singular is singular. O. Singular. Okay, they don't really I. stop and, and think. You've, like, you've had some experience with them. I've stuck my tongue out at him. <laughs> your instincts were dead on. You're, you're in good company. Princess Charlotte I followed know, your lead. Right? I said, Savannah sent me that picture, and she's like, you and wasn't exactly first daughter decorum. Look. And I was Aww. like, exactly, oh, but if a princess can do it, not to mention I was 23 and she was three. <laughs> <laughs> your influence grows. I, don't, I have to say, I, I just feel like I've been subjected to this, mm -hmm. and I don't enjoy the paparazzi, but I have to say, when they photograph my children, yes. who I do not make public, uh, there's a reason I don't put them on TV, and there was one online publication that put my daughter Yardley's photo front and center on the homepage, huge. What? Her beautiful little, at the time, six-year-old face for the entire day. I, I didn't know it was up there. And then when we called and complained, they did take it down. But... It's wrong. What what societal benefit is is nothing, there nothing, in that? No. Nothing. You know, and no too high a price to pay. I've been newly with a newborn coming back from the doctor. You know, barely even awake, holding a newborn baby, and I did say to the people, please don't take a picture of right now. Right, I mean, right, it's right, like, right. The, what do you want to show? Did they respect it? And they they stopped. I mean, it was out there. I looked terrible, but you know, at the yeah. same time, it, I think if you say please don't. At least in my experience, um, but what they it, will stop. What really? That say? has not worked. Has it not me. worked for you? What no. does it say about <laughs> us, though, as a society, that, that there's even a market for that? I know. Yeah. Like, it's just for clear. famous yes. kids. Kids. Who cares? I yes. know. I feel like you, we have made ourselves public figures, yeah. right, by choosing jobs in television. But our children haven't made that no. choice. And if we haven't put them out there, they should be off limits. Um, and that, I guess, that doesn't apply to the royal family because they're out there, yeah. whether they like it or not. Uh, but it has probably more pros than cons. If you're <laughs> yes. royal. I'm going to guess. Yeah, that train ride. Panel, great to see you Good both. To see Thank you. you. Thank you, my friends. All right, we'll be right Good back. Good looking crowd, too. Yeah. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.